know that six of the seven species of sea turtles found in the world hang out in the Great Barrier Reef? The green, leatherback, hawksbill, loggerhead, flatback, and olive ridley. Many of these are listed as either endangered or vulnerable. The flatback turtle, Nateter depressus, is a vulnerable species meaning if we don't take care of our ocean, the survival of their species may be threatened. This is the only Australian turtle that breeds solely in Australian waters. It prefers to live in soft-bottomed habitats away from reefs and nests on islands along the length of the Great Barrier Reef. You can usually find these awesome creatures in bays, shallow grassy waters, coral reefs, estuaries, and lagoons on the northern coast of Australia and even off the coast of Papua New Guinea. The flatback turtle eats a variety of things including mollusks, jellyfish, shrimp, as well as soft coral sea cucumber and other soft body creatures. These turtles are a bit unusual in the sense that they lay fewer but larger eggs than any other sea turtle species. First, Females emerge on the very same beach they were born from more than 30 years ago just to make way for their offspring. The female begins by digging a pit using her front flippers to clear away the dry top layer of sand. Then using her rear flippers, she digs a smaller hole inside the pit for her eggs. After laying 50 to 75 eggs, she covers them up again using her back flippers. The female will then lay up to four of these nests over a span of 16 to 17 days. Even though it may seem many little sea turtles are being produced, you must keep in mind that the dangerous journey of survival has not even begun for these unborn eggs. Once they emerge from the shell, the little sea turtles must make their way to the ocean and along the way survive predators such as birds and crabs. And even if the flatback turtle survives the journey to the ocean, a new battle begins for the little turtles. The race to the break of the waves helps to strengthen the baby turtles, but it still must learn to escape large ocean predators such as sharks and larger fish, not to mention human predators. Though these beautiful peaceful creatures can live up to 70 years, only one out of a hundred hatchlings survive to adulthood.